Welcome back to Excel user series 5.2 video number nine. And this particular video will be available in both of my YouTube channel. One is Excel snippet and the one is called iSelf Academy snippet. In today's video, we are about to see how to work with three different formulas in two way lookup. So the data that I've already built in here, I have created a cross tab data type. Plus I colored the data and then I'm keeping a criteria in here for you. Again, we're going to use three different formulas here. The first formula will be index and match. The second formula will be index and X match. The final formula will be on X lookup. So you can use any one of them, whichever one which you which suits you, you can do that. The advantage of using the old school method and the new school method will be more new school method will be much more easier to get the desired result. Old school will be a little more complex in filling the data set here. I didn't create any uh, name manager in this list, so I'm going to select each and every one of them one after the one. So I'm going to start with an index functionality. Normally, index function comes with three different logic array, row number, and column number. So I'm going to create select the array first. My sale value between the two data set is, is my index, and then I'm going to lock them with absolute cell reference by pressing F4 once. Then I'm going to give a comma and then give the match functionality here to go for the roll number. So I want to select the match functionality and then I'll select the data here. Again, I'm going to lock them with an absolute cell reference. I'm going to select an exact match here. Then I'm going to give the third. The final part of the data where I'm going to select my year. And then I'm going to just pick up the data here and then I'm going to give a zero and close the bracket twice here. When I do that automatically, you can see whatever answer that I've given on top. I chose Argu and then I chose 2022 as a year. The combination of these two data put together. Has seven lakh rupees. Sales and the valuation is exactly matching here. So when I just move this to some other data set, my valuation will automatically change here. I'm making this data more dynamic for us. Again, using the old school methodology will be a little longer and a little harder to. I'm going to just make a small change in the entire data set here by just adding index function again. And this time around, I'm going to use an X match function. The advantage of using X match function, I don't want to lock any of the cell references here. Earlier, I have to use a cell references on each and every aspect of the data. Here, I don't want to do that. I'm going to just use X match instead of match functionality. So the moment I do that, then I get all my answers here. I don't want to lock it here. I'm going to close the bracket and I want to give an exact match in X match function because by default, X match gives you an X match or an exact match automatically. In the same way, I'm going to go and add the years here. And then close the bracket for the X match and close the bracket one more time and give an enter. You can see the same answer repeats. The only thing is here the cell referential portion is not required. This data still works for you. Now I can use an X lookup function here. So when I normally go for an X lookup function, X lookup function is going to give you a different dimensional data. I'm going to give two different X lookup here. And by default, XLOOKUP is also an exact match functionality. So first I'm selecting my sales representative, which will give me the exact sales representative according to the data. Then I will add an XLOOKUP for my year. The plus point of doing this is I can just add the return value from our index data sets here. So, so I'm going to select this data. And again, even in this data, I didn't lock anything. I'm going to hit to close brackets here by that way it will give you the answer for you so now you can move this data wherever you want and this is going to be dynamic plus you can see the data sets answer is also coming from which part of our table will be easily identified here this is vinoth signing out from excel snippet and iself academy youtube channel you are watching excel user series 5.2 spark shots on video number 11. Have a great day and thank you so much.